Let's start by creating a new more Google form. We're going to create a quick quiz. I notice when I click in the upper left that it matches the title and I'm automatically collecting email addresses. You can change that by clicking on the settings cog to toggle on and off whether or not you want to collect email addresses. I recommend that you do. Save. If you'd like it to automatically do that for all future forms, click on the three dots and go to preferences and in the preferences choose collect email addresses. I'm going to make my first question. What is your first name? You'll notice that Google Forms automatically predicts the question type, which is kind of cool. Last name. I am able to sort my Google Form more easily because I can sort it by last name if I ask for last name separately from first name. And then I want to do a question. What color is red writing its hood? And we're going to go with red, blue, green, and yellow. And if you'd like to shuffle the question order or the answer order, go to the three dots, shuffle option order. So the red, blue, green, yellow will shuffle. I'm going to add another question. Who is the antagonist? I don't know about you, but I always put the right answer first. So I'm going to add another option, Grandma, Red, Bob, Barker, three dots, shuffle the option order. Okay, so I've made my quiz. I'm going to click on the eyeball so I can now take and distribute the quiz. You can share this link at the top so long as you're looking at the previous screen. So let's pretend that we are a student and we're just going to fill this out a few times. Submit. Submit another one. Red. Wolf. Submit. All right, so now I have some responses. Going back to the Google form in the edit screen, I can see that I have three responses. And then there is the spreadsheet icon. You want to click on the spreadsheet icon from the responses tab. I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. And now that I'm looking at the spreadsheet data, I'm able to sort each question to help me to more easily see where students are. So if I want to sort by last name, I'm going to click on the column and you'll notice that there is this drop down arrow that allow me to choose sort sheet A to Z. So now I can alphabetize by last name, I can alphabetize by first name, and then for question number one, if I sort the sheet, I can see everyone who answered red, so Jack and Jane got this question correct, but Alice did not. So I'm able to pull Alice aside so we can talk about question number one. And then on the antagonist question, I'm going to sort the sheet, and I can see Jack and Alice picked grandma, but Jane picked the wolf. So Jack and Alice needs to be talk to, given some feedback uh, about that question. So all the questions I'm able to just go through, click on the little arrow, sort the sheet, and sort responses so I can see which students got it right and which ones need support.